Lord, I what's up, babe? Got a problem? I said, what's up, babe? Nah, hey everybody, what's up? This is Anthony, Fun Balloon Twisting 101. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really cool ladybug balloon bracelet. And here's, here it is, here's what it looks like, it's really cool. Check it out, it's got the antenna, it's got the little cute little face, it's got the red, you know, all the dots and everything, it's all good. And people love them, and you'll love them too. And, and you get the hang of it, you can make them really fast, really cool, people love them. Um, okay, so what you're gonna need to get to do this is, so I, I like to use Qualitex, size, Qualitex size 260 balloons. Um, we're gonna have a, go ahead and go with a white balloon for the antenna pink for the body and red for the shell or the for this part wherever that is uh, hey I'm not a science major I'm just a balloon guy so <laughs> but it's really cool people love them so and also I got these little kid scissors because my mom won't let me use the regular ones but it's all good <laughs> but um yeah you need scissors and a black sharpie marker so let's get started okay I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and we'll get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the let's start off with the pink and red balloons. Set the white one aside. Okay, um, we're just gonna use one puff of air for each balloon, for each of these, the pink and the red. So go ahead and we'll start off with the body. Go ahead and put it on your pump and just want you just want one puff of air. That's it. That's all you want. Go ahead and tie that off. And the red one. All you want again is one puff of air and tie it off. Go ahead and tie that off. Okay. Set aside the red balloon for now. And got this uh, pink balloon. We're going to go ahead and make a one inch bubble right here. Make a one inch bubble. And then what you want is you want this knot to be under the twist. Because we're going to we're going to pull the knot down. See this knot? We're going to tie it. We're going to like, okay, I, I just want you guys to get this. So I just want to explain it really good. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. You want this knot to be underneath the twist we're about to do. So I'm going to pull it and then we're going to like hold it like this and this bubble right here we're going to pull it up a little bit and twist it off because you want the knot to be underneath the twist. So pull it up and twist. You want the knot underneath the twist so that it locks in place like that. So you should have, the, you should have it something like this. Now this is gonna be the legs, so you want this to be in four even bubbles, as best you can. So you should have something like this. Got the head, and then one, two, three, four legs. Okay, so you're gonna bring it around like this. Is you wanna like grab it like that kind of with my thumb and index finger around the neck. And I'm gonna pinch, pinch it right here at the end of the bubble. Pinch it. So go ahead and pinch it. And then what I'm gonna do is this, this whole, all the four of these legs all together at once, I'm gonna twist them all together. Just all together, just twist it off. And you should have this. And then to lock it into place, see the tail? We're gonna go ahead and poke it through. Poke it through. And then just slightly, just slightly pull it. So that it's like that. It just helps lock it in place and everything. Otherwise it comes apart. Okay, um, Okay, now we're gonna um, go with the red balloon. You want this to be two equal halves. So it's just one twist, but you want it to be in like two equal halves. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the two bubbles up against each other like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a knot. We're gonna tie the nozzle and the tail into a knot together. Put the nozzle in like that. Go ahead and pull it. Go ahead and pull it like that. And then we're gonna now we're gonna tie a knot. Have a knot right okay, now go ahead and get the body again. And this is how you want it. You want to position it so that the pink tail goes up like that, and the red, you want the red tail to go down. And the pink like this. So you got the red going down and the pink going up. Okay, so now that you have the red balloon on top of the pink one, what you want to do is you see this pink tail, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of like hold it together like this, hold the head in place with my middle and index finger. You know, I got my thumb supporting, you know, the balloon and everything, my hand and my thumb is supporting it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this pink balloon, I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit, and I'm gonna bring it, stretch it out, and I'm gonna wrap it into, in between these red um, halves right here. It's gonna go into the balloon, watch, see? See how it's going in there? I'm stretching it out and I'm bringing it, wrapping it around, wrapping it in there to where you can't see it anymore. See how it disappeared? I'll do that again. So stretching it and bringing it in there and it's going to disappear. Look, see it? All gone. Look. And I'm just going to keep wrapping it around, keep stretching it, go around the head and I'm going I'm to do it one more time. It's going to disappear into there. See how it disappeared? Okay. Go ahead and let go of that. And what you... Okay, so now what you want to do... So now what you want to do is you want to take the red nozzle and the pink tail and you want to tie a knot. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch out the nozzle and I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot. The red nozzle and the pink tail tie it into a knot. So you should have something like this. Now get your scissors out. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna um, see. I'm kind of stretching it out a little bit with with my um, with my fingers. We're gonna cut off the excess of the pink balloon. Like that. And this pink one, you could actually use it for a, for other sculptures, like um, you use it for like a nose or something like that. Like, for instance, um, if you go to my um, dog tutorial, you could use this pink scrap as like a nose for the um, dog. So you can go ahead and keep, actually that's what I do. I save these whenever I end up cutting off excess. Whenever I cut off the tails of the pink balloons, I like to save them because I could use them as scraps for the noses of different sculptures, like bunnies and dogs and stuff like that. So. Okay, you can use this for a scrap. You can check out my doc tutorial and, and check out about how to do that. Okay. So we're gonna set that aside. Okay. Now we're gonna do the bracelet part. Get the red. And just, what we're gonna do is like, I'm gonna pinch it off right here where it's like, it's not too much, like, like a pinky nail. And I'm gonna stretch it. And then I'm gonna wrap it around the, the head of wrap it around the, the head of the um, ladybug. So you go like that. And I'm just wrapping it around the head. And then I 
catch a snapping. So we got this. So we have this. And after you're done wrapping the red tail around the neck, if you feel like there's too much of a gap, or it looks kind of funny, like there's too much of a gap, uh, what you could do is you could take the um, the red the part of the red tail that snapped up, that snapped up like that, and just kind of bring it around, kind of stretch it out, stretch it out, and then just bring it right in between inside there to where it's in there and, and just leave it in there and then let it leave it in there and it, it tightened it up see how it tightened it up now the head's flush against the the red has right there so that'll help with that if that happens i'm going to show you how to make the uh antennas you just want a little bit of air not too much because we're gonna we're gonna um divide this air in two so you, you want, you just figure like, I don't know, that's about like my middle finger. Don't worry, I'm not going to stick out my middle finger at you. So I'm just showing you. <laughs> it's about my middle finger. Go ahead and tie that off. Okay, now what I like to do is I'll like, I'll pinch it off like about right here. And then, and then I'll hold it with this hand. And I'm, we're just going to stretch it out like this. So I'm pinching it. So right here I'm pinching it, and then right here I have I have the um, in my hand, and I'm gonna stretch it out. And after I stretch it out, I'm gonna squeeze this. I'm gonna I'm gonna squeeze it, and then some of the air is gonna go on top right here. And I'm just gonna figure out how you know I want an even amount of air in here and here. And then I'm squeezing the air down there to up here. You get that. Go ahead and um, tie it off down the middle. Tie a knot in the middle. And this white nozzle, you're going to want to cut that off because it kind of weighs it down and it doesn't look good. Go ahead and cut off the white nozzle. Put that in my pocket. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the antenna. We're gonna put it under the head to the other side. And then we're just gonna tie a knot. Gonna interlace right here. Ah, wait, hold on. <laughs> I messed up. Put it under the neck. Interlace. And then we're gonna pull evenly like this. Nice and tight. And you should get it like this. When I draw the face, what I like to do is I'll make a couple circles for the eyes. Let's go ahead and fill them in. And then I'll just make a couple of quick little lines for the nose. Like that. And then we'll make a smiley face. And then we'll finish it off like this. And then, uh, so that's pretty much what the face looks like. I kind of messed up. I uh, See how it, it filled in? It's kind of hard when I'm trying to demonstrate for you guys sometimes. Um, usually, both ends will look like this side. Both sides should look like that. 
but I filled it in a little bit right here by accident. But both sides should look like the left side. Both sides should look like that. Looks like he has a tooth missing or something. <laughs> and then for the back, what you just do is you can put like little dots and big dots. Usually I'll put like about four on one side, about four or three on the other side. You can make like little little circles, big circles, you know, and then just fill them in. Just something like random, you know, circles. And then you just fill them in. I found that like if you use like the side, if you kind of fill it in sideways, it'll fill it in faster. And also, another trick is look, you, instead of just making the circles first, just go. You can just go ahead and just you know start put the marker sideways against the balloon, and then just go ahead and just make circles like that without. See how like it made it real fast without having to make a circle first and then fill it in. You could just go ahead and just without just put it in a random place sideways against the balloon and then just go ahead and fill it in a circle like that. And you can make this put like about four, three to four on one side and three to four on the other side. This is the finished product right here. The wind's blowing, but this is how it looks. <laughs> and this is the body. And this is the face. Hi! <laughs> I think one eye's bigger than the other, but it's all good. <laughs> Alright everybody, I'm Anthony. Fun Balloon Twisting 101. You know, I know I take a long time to show you guys how to do things. I just I want to show you every step. Because when I was learning how to make balloons, and I'll try to learn on YouTube, there'd be a lot of videos that like wouldn't really teach you good, and, and they wouldn't show us step by step, so I had to just learn on my own sometimes. So I just want to show you guys every step so you guys can learn how to do it, you know. So I'm sorry if you feel like the video is too long or whatever, but I really am trying to show you like step by step every little thing so that you can make them too. Um, I'm Anthony, Fun Balloon Twisting 101. Rate, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. All right, peace. One balloon laser gun. It's really cool. Check it out. Um, the kids love them. I'm Anthony. Fun Balloon Twisting 101.